Hey, what's up? This is your boy Atlas Knights, and uh, we're still over here at the Pascula Crown Inn. Uh, next place we're going to search is this abandoned house right here. Uh, man, that place looks so different from back over here. Oh god man, it's fucking hot out here. Wait, actually I think these no, these are apartments. I never knew that. These are apartments. I never fucking I mean I'm sorry, I never knew that. It's like completely new. These are actually apartments. Let's look on the inside up over here. I'm not gonna go all the way in though. Man, I'm guessing it must cost too much money to get this place fixed. And this right here is locked. So I'm not going to go up in there, of course. I'm surprised no one hasn't broken up in there. It's kind of a shock. Huh, wait, I never realized there's a graveyard back over here. I mean, not a graveyard, there's a pathway. Someone tore down the fence. So, yep, um, Joseph Vincent, damn, he was born a long time ago. Okay, I see some bras out here, desecrating the grave, very classy. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. Uh... Got some deep clean and protect. I highly doubt if anyone has any clothes to clean out here if they're homeless. They're probably just using that to get high. And uh um dang. Uh well, I just saw I just saw a woman up over there. I don't know what she I guess she's cleaning her clothes. Uh Well, she's over there changing clothes, so I might of course I'm not gonna go over there and film her or nothing. Um like I said, I'm just doing this for a YouTube video. I'm not trying to make no I'm not trying to make an OnlyFans. Oh shit. Uh almost hit a rock. Oh, well, that's the first homeless person I ran into, but she was over there staying in the graveyard. But I'm, I don't know. That's actually kind of bad. If you got homeless people who are willing to sit, stay, camp out at a graveyard, but not camp out at an abandoned hotel, that place must really be nasty. If they rather camp out in the graveyard. Uh, God, it's hot. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure I don't see no cops around here. Okay. Ah, oh, God, man. I want to take off this face mask, but just in case if someone's trying to film me and make up a lie to the police, I don't want them to see my face. I mean, of course, I'm not doing nothing wrong, but just for precaution purposes. Huh. Wow. This door's already opened. 
<laughs> nope, I'm not gonna go in there. Looks too corroded at the floor too. I don't want to fall through the roof. Uh, Uh, man, I should have brought me a towel, <laughs> but at least I'm getting plenty of exercise. Actually, I am kind of surprised that the Pascagoula police have not showed up over here. Maybe no one hasn't called them or either they just don't give a shit about this place. I mean, not that I want them to come up over here like, no, hell no. Oh man, damn, that stuff's tearing through. Let me make sure this is not ripped. Wow, holy shit. This place is ripped to hell. There's a whole bunch of clothes up in here and everything. I'm not going to go all the way up in here, but I'll film a little bit of the inside of it. <sighs> Man, I do not see how someone can stay up in here, like, honestly. I'll try to go slow while I'm filming. Oh yeah, and don't remember, you know me, in case someone tries to act crazy or attack me, we're good. If there is anybody up in here, don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just making a YouTube video, so you don't have nothing to worry about. I'm just doing this for a YouTube video. <sighs> I'm not going to go all the way up in here, but, um, wow. There are a lot of clothes up in here. I mean, a lot. You got to wonder, like, how many people stay up in here at nighttime. But anyway, let me go ahead and get out of here, man, because it's getting too hot and I don't want to catch no asbestos and get sick. Let me make sure the cops aren't out here. I don't see no cops. Okay, if there's anyone in here, I'm leaving in peace. I come in peace and I leave in peace. Have a good day. Now, I don't know if there are really any homeless people up in there or not, but um, I don't know. I saw a lot of clothes, so I'm assuming there's at least one homeless person. If they're on drugs, they might be paranoid and think I'm a cop or something trying to kick them out of the house, but I'm not. But I can't believe these are apartments, though. It's just crazy. I'm going to film this other one up over here. They got vacuum cleaners. God, dude, I'm going to have to take a damn bath when I get up out of here. I'm going to have to take 10 baths. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I got some of these little fucking sharp plant needle things on me. I got some of these in the back of my house. Uh <sighs>
Uh, it's got a microwave bottle. Man. Yes, sir. This place is a mess. Bad. I'm going to end up combining these YouTube videos into one video, but I'm also going to upload them to my channel separately in 1440p HD. But like I said, though, I'm not going to explore all the buildings. <sighs> well, um, that's pretty much all I have to show because most of the rooms are the same up around here. But um, over here, like I said, in the front, that's a uh, Pascal Crown Inn Motel. It got condemned. Now it's abandoned. And this over here is uh, uh, the same place as Pascal Inn Hotel. But the only thing I'm kind of curious about is why would you put extra hotel rooms like all the way back over here? Like, why not put them closer like up over here where this pole's at instead of so far away in the back oh yeah like i said um this is atlas night and this is part two of my video exploring the abandoned um yeah exploring the abandoned pasigula crown inn motel or hotel i'm gonna say motel but um, if you haven't, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Night. That's A T A L no A T L A S space N I G H T Atlas Night. Uh. I don't know what that is, but I'm not going to open that shit. It looks like a whole bunch of squashed up roaches or something. I'm talking about cockroaches. And no, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being serious. Nope, that's locked up. <sighs> I'm not going to go up in there because it's too much of a mess. And I do not want to get any more dirtier, dirt, I mean, dirtier than I already am. Um, take one more look. Wait, did I already check back over here? Well, I mean, no, not in this back over here, but, um, anywhere else. Well, uh, man, it's not really scary. And if you're wondering too, no, it's not a scary uh, search in this place since it's abandoned. But if it was in New Orleans, yes, I would be a little bit scared. Because if you watch my other YouTube videos, the most biggest abandoned building I ever explored by myself was in New Orleans. It was the abandoned Bell South building in New Orleans. Or I think no, Slidell, Louisiana. That place was big. The building was seven stories tall. And had over a, it has over a hundred rooms from what I read on the maps on Google. So yeah, the place was huge. I explored the whole thing. Because I mean, I'm not going to lie. I didn't want to go up in there by myself. Huh. Some more stuff up in here, but I'm not going to go up in here. Huh. Pretty much the same thing. There's a lot of, there's, I mean, uh, there's a lot of beer bottles and stuff up in here. Wow. Someone was really mad. They punched a hole through that wall 
reminds me of Mr. X from Resident Evil 2 Remake and the original Resident Evil 2. But man, I mean, if you look, all the rooms are just pretty much still the same up over here. It looked like someone tried to burn this bed because I see like little fire marks on it, little match marks. Ugh, okay, that's gross. <sighs> Man. Well, let me go ahead and go about it. Let me let me go ahead and get up out of here before someone calls the police on me and gets the wrong idea. It'll probably I, I went ahead and decided to explore this uh, building anyway, though, because probably like in the next um probably like in the next four to six months, they're probably gonna go ahead and tear this building down. So I just wanted to go ahead and explore it before it got torn down and put it on my YouTube channel. But yeah, I'm guessing it probably costs like half a million dollars to like renovate these, um, to renovate this Crown Inn Motel. But yeah, I'm not gonna explore this place at no nighttime. I do not never explore abandoned buildings at nighttime. Never. Only during the day. I still want to explore that abandoned Navy base facility though up in New Orleans. That building is like, I think 20 stories tall, but I've always wanted to explore that place, but I gotta find someone to come with me though, because this place is like double the size of the abandoned Bell South building in um, Slidell, Louisiana. And there it is right there at the Crown Inn sign. Uh, there's nothing back over here besides um, the brand new apartments over here and then the brand new apartments on the right. And you can't drive through here. Uh, man. Well, I'm through exploring this place, but like I said, though, um, thank you. If you watch this video, thank you for watching, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Nights, and like, share, yeah, like this video and share this video. I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take one picture for my thumbnail for my YouTube channel. Okay, well, this is Atlas Night. Oh, let me get from underneath this thing. I don't want this thing to crush me. Okay, like I was saying, this is Atlas Night. I will see y'all later, and y'all have a good day. Stay safe and peace.